Another day in the 12 days of comic book love. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my Tick at the Lake. It's been a while since I've done a comp book love thing. I don't know what number this is. Four, maybe four. I'm going to call it another bonus because it wasn't on the list. My original list, this is a bonus for me. But I think it's a really good idea that anyone can use and it doesn't have to be exactly the way I'm using it. I watch Sue at A Call to Create. She does extraordinary journals. Go check her out. If you're still wondering... run over to her channel and she'll show you exactly how to use a junk journal best use of a junk journal i've ever ever seen so go over there and check it out plus she's a whisper away from her thousand subscriber mark so if we can push her over that edge that would be magnificent because i'll bet she'll do a giveaway and she has really cool stuff <laughs> no pressure sue you don't have to do a giveaway but i think i heard you say once that when you get there you were going to do one so let's get her there shall we Anyway, she has this book. I think she said she got it at a thrift store. And I think I've seen her cut out the snippets and use them in her journal. Well, the last video that I saw her use this in, I thought, I need a copy of that book. I just think that would be fun. I have a whole video on my Piccadilly book collection. So I went to Amazon because that's, that's where I go for everything. I go to Amazon and they're sold out. Fine. Well, Walmart sells Piccadilly books now. So I went to the Walmart app. Walmart is sold out. Well, now I really, really, really want one because nobody has one, right? So I went to my Meyer app. Meyer Thrifty Acres is a grocery store chain in our region. And it said they had several in stock. So I got my shoes on and I grabbed up little Miss Bitsy and we ran directly out to Meyer Thrifty Acre. You know I wanted it bad if I'm willing to leave the house and it's not my monthly errand day. <laughs> So I got to I got to Meyer and they had several Piccadilly books, but not this one. They had something like two hundred lists about me or three hundred things to make me happy. No, and no, those aren't the ones I want. I want this one. I considered the other ones because this one wasn't there. I considered and I, and I thought, no, I want this one. And so I started moving books and I went through all the books and somebody had put a whole stack of books of a different title in front of this one there were three or four left and i got me one so i've been pondering how i want to use it and i know that i'm not going to be able to cut it up i know that i'm just gonna do it now i'm a writer and i'm not very succinct all the time what is your perfect idea of happiness that is more than a one sentence answer to me that is more than a one word answer although it would be very good practice for me to put in a one or two word one sentence it would be very good practice for me to rein in those thoughts so i may just do that what i know that i'm going to do is just because i enjoy so much putting pencil to paper and writing i'm going to use this as a daily way to unwind or a, not necessarily daily whenever I feel like it and write and if it's one sentence fine and dandy but if it's one page or two pages fine and dandy so I'm gonna make a composition book for my answers so I went to the internet and I found a really good picture of this book and I took a screenshot of that. The good pictures online don't have the glare and they don't have the, the crooked table. So I took a screenshot. I took it up to Canva and had them match. You can, you can kind of see where the book ends and the background begins. I matched the background, made it the size of my composition book cover. Once I trim it, it should be really close to the right size. We'll see. I measured the cover of my composition book. I put that in my Canva design as in custom, custom size design. I put it in inches. I think it was, uh, you know, and your composition book might be different size than mine. So the measurements really, really do not matter. But whatever my cover measured is the measurement I put in to Canva. And then I filled the space with the image and the background color. Oh, look too short. I don't care. 
I was just going to run over and reprint it and expand it a little bit and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I love comp books. It's black and white. It, it looks fine. I did offset my image just a little bit because I knew that I was going to use this, this black tape. I'm going to have it butt right up against it rather than wrap around. So I put my image over this way a little bit so that I wouldn't lose it. So I'm going to butt it up to that black tape and I'm going to... Show where, show myself where I need to trim it. And I also added Answers Volume 1. I'm going to take my handy dandy tape runner. This is dark enough, I can't see this through it, so I'm just going to put it right directly on here. Take my handy dandy glue stick so that I have some wiggle room in case I don't get it perfect the first time in the way this afternoon is going. I, I may need all the extra help I can get. So each time I do a comp book, I seem to do it a little bit different depending on what I have to work with, what my goal is with the project, how much time and effort I want to put into that project or not. I did pretty good about getting that tape to the edge, but I missed a little bit so I'm gonna go around the edge because when you're not wrapping it boy those edges make all the difference those have to be down really good or it's just a pain so I want a little bit at the top showing and a little bit at the bottom showing and I want to go right up to that black tape make sure it's right to the edge of the notebook. That's why you want to put the glue stick on there because you want some some wiggle room time-wise. It's a teensy little bit of that corner that needs to be rounded and I'm using my non-stick scissors because there's glue everywhere and I don't need that on my new my new big girl scissors down here same thing just a tiny little nip off that corner and there we go i have a beautiful companion notebook to my book this can work no matter what it is you're doing i'm a big marginalist in that i write in the margins of all my books i highlight my books i write notes in all my books for some people they that still makes them squeamish if you are a note taker instead of using a million little post-it notes get a screenshot of the book that you're reading get a composition book print out your screenshot or take it up to Canva and make it bigger if you need to. Embellish it however you need to. And then take notes in a notebook. And that way you'll always know which goes which. Now I know there's 3,000 questions here and 80 pages here. I, I know I'm not going to get them all done. So I put answers volume 1. And when I fill this up, I will do another one, volume 2. And I think that's a brilliant use of a composition book. And I can't wait to dive in and use it. Thank you very much, Sue, for showing me that this book existed and how cool it is. I, I'm hoping that you get to that 1000 mark pretty quickly. Speaking of subscriber counts, remember I am on a mission. 5,000 by Christmas. Half of you who are watching are still not subscribed. If everyone watching who've watched a one or two of my other videos subscribed, I would be at my 5,000 mark by now. So take a minute, hit the subscribe button. It is free, 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 and we'll get to our goals. In the meantime, go love up your beastlies. Have a lovely, lovely crafty day. Give those little critters of yours or your friends or your neighbors lots of extra love, extra kisses, and extra treats from Bitsy and me. Montek at the lake. Out for now.